And then lastly is what, what this is the part you did vote to move into S97 yesterday or the day before. And this is the the uh, what I just mentioned, the Bureau of just Racial Justice Statistics. Remember, as originally viewed by the committee in H317, it was a standalone agency, not standalone, but it was an agency uh, within the agency of administration that, that uh, sort of was located alongside the Office of Racial Equity. Uh, this, but there's been a lot of discussion, debate about what makes the most sense as to where this bureau should be housed. Should it be part of state government? Should it be a standalone agency? So the proposal here is what you looked at yesterday, which is to study the issue instead for another year, give RDAP some more time to look at uh, whether what makes the most sense for what this bureau should do, where it should be located, and then report back to the Judiciary Committees. You see on line, uh, on page 21, line 18, on or before November of this year, you get a report back as to uh, the proposal from RDAP as to what to do about the Bureau. A um, couple of pieces in there, remember we talked about the what the study is going to entail, uh, who they would consult with, and then in particular, just to sort of lead us into a discussion, Representative Grad, I know you wanted to have here on page 23, there's uh, a piece about the per diems, and that's uh, lines three through 11. The first sentence is just sort of bo this boilerplate that just says members of the this of the panel who aren't state employees uh, who are, or who are not otherwise paid for, for their work on the, on the study group will get compensated according to the per diem statute that's in existence that's always done with respect to non-legislative members of committees. That statute provides for a $50 per day per diem. And then you had proposed another sentence, the second sentence that gave the attorney general's office discretion to pay more than that $50 per diem. Uh, to members of the panel who weren't state employees, um, and that the, that payment would be made out of the 50000 that was appropriated um, to the committee in subsection E. And that, that is what sub E is. It's a $50,000 appropriation for purposes of funding this study of the racial equity, uh, sorry, the Bureau of Racial Justice Statistics. And that is a speedy run through through 20 very different areas of law. <laughs> and <clears throat> that's the way the miscellaneous bill stands at the moment. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. And, and also I know Bryn, I'm not sure if there are other council that worked on, on this, but uh, often, often that's the way it goes because we are pulling from uh, Different, different jurisdictions, different areas that that our council work on. So I appreciate that. Yes, couldn't have done um, it without Brand too. <laughs> right. So this will go to appropriations because of this this last section. Um, I I'm not sure if we if we should adjust the language here in terms of the discretion in different per diems. Um, now that there might be concern about that in appropriations. Um, uh, Madam Chair? Yes. Coach, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Martin asked me to, uh, to relate some thoughts to appropriations regarding uh, the consideration of uh, specialized members uh, of the community. And uh, so I, I worked on drafting um, uh, uh, some language that uh, could be helpful uh, in doing this. Uh, and I'll, I don't have it ready to, to send over to people right now because I want to edit you know, you don't hit send until you take a good look at it. <laughs> uh, or at least that's the way I was kind of taught, even though you still miss things. Um, but basically, to give you uh, an overview of, of my thinking is we would still allow the discretion, but part of the thinking is what about the specialist? If you're going to have um, 
this type of a design, you want people who have data and analytic background and specialists, you know, to be involved in the process. So what, what I'm proposing that, that we have in, in the language is as part of that discretion, this would allow the AG's office to contract or offer honorariums as needed. To give you an example of what a contract could look like, a contract would be performance-based, for example, community member Judy is a data analytics specialist, agrees to consult with the RDAP subcommittee tasked with the design of the Vermont Bureau of Racial Statistics, and also agrees to be compensated at the rate of $180 per activity, up to 20 activities unless agreed upon by RDAP and the AG's office as funds are available. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get geeky here a little bit about detail. And if we had 10 specialists from anywhere in Vermont, uh, the University of Vermont, um, Castleton, uh, any of the the places where we would go uh, to find these specialists, and we offered them, you know, that contract. Basically, what we would be looking at is approximately thirty six hundred dollars, and what that does is it gives, over that six month period, the ability of these uh, this working group to have enough exchanges to get the work done. We could offer those contracts to up to, you know, 10, five to 10 people, you know, let's say, uh, as subcontractors, you know, to the committee. Uh, and this is clearly a divergence from the norm, but this isn't a normal thing. You know, if we're going to shift the paradigm, if we're going to create change, you know, this is a way to achieve that, you know, that end. And it is up to RDAP and the AG's office to make sure that we get, you know, the credible, you know, like folks, you know, involved, you know, as I mentioned in, in the example, you know, we would be looking for specialized skill sets and a CV or resume uh, that will enhance the work that we're doing. And there are people out there that do this work and it would be up to uh, our ADAP and the AG's office to come up with those folks. So that that's what spilled out in between all of the other stuff. And, um, and I did, uh, I just got off the phone with uh, David Shear and he said, geez, That'll work, you know, for them, for the AG's office. So anyways. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Coach. See, Martin has, and actually Tom um, had his hand up for a while. I was... Yeah, um, we can finish on this topic. And uh, I, I actually wanted to go back to the question in section 12, so. Sorry, I didn't call on you sooner. Um, that's fine. Okay, I'm still thank you. Here, so. <laughs> Martin. Yeah, yeah. A little, I guess, a little further follow up and thoughts on this. Um, my my thought is that actually the language that we have in here should be sufficient to cover what you just uh, spoke about, Coach. Frankly, um, I'm concerned. I I think we really, if at all possible for us to have the best chance to get this in fact through appropriations and all the timing for next week that we need to have this passed uh, this afternoon and 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 doing some uh, working with that language some more at this point um, may not make that possible and what I'm thinking coach is that 
that's an explanation, number one. I mean, we should be working with appropriations people on, on that language more so than us, because it's, it's them who have to see what's going to pass. And, and I believe, yeah, again, I think this is a little bit different, even the way that we have the language here. Of course, uh, I defer to appropriations, and they think we're just trying to get around per diems, which we're not. Uh, but the point is that we're not saying, oh, we're going to give a per diem of $300 an hour or whatever. Uh, we're giving some discretion to uh, the attorney general to account for like what you just spoke about, specialists and the like. Again, I think that that's probably covered in the language we have. But if they disagree, I, I mean, I really think that that's language or that's a discussion uh, that you uh, uh, coach, and, and I'm happy to be part of that as well, uh, should be having with legislative council and the appropriations folks. So I think personally, and in, in, uh, open, uh, obviously, the discussion on this, that this language is fine for now for us to get it uh, uh, out the door from us so that it can be prepared to make its way through appropriations. Uh, and then when there's testimony, which they will ask, they will ask uh, the sponsors of this part, which you know, you would be taking the lead on that coach to explain just what you explained to us. And if they feel they, they need to change the language at all, uh, then they could do, uh, then they could do an amendment. Uh, the other thing is that, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd rather have them change the language uh, than us kind of taking a shot at it right now. Uh, and, and I think they would be willing to, to do that, uh, you know, given the explanation you provided. That, that's my two cents worth on that. But Actually, uh, Martin, I, I agree. But in full transparency to those of us that sit virtually in this room, I guess I was offering an explanation of why is this so different? Gotcha. Um, yeah. Yep. So it, it, it isn't to amend, you know, anything that we've prepared. It's, you want to know how this is going to work? Well, let me tell you. No, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I think that <laughs> but, that might, you know, I think that that's definitely a good uh, narrative to give to the appropriations. Committee. They may want to tweak the language to accommodate yeah, this, yeah. what we're talking about, but I'd rather have them do it than us trying to figure out what would satisfy them. No, I, I, I agree, but I, I just felt, you know, we work, we do all work together on all of this stuff. And, you know, if anybody here was queried by someone, you know, I'd want all of my colleagues to not go, duh, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> look at Tom. I didn't mean to catch on your, you know, the poor guy, you know, I caught him half, you know, too late, Coach. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyways, it um, it it was more explanation than actual, you know, editing. So. Well, thank you, thank you for that clarification because I I also thought that you were um, proposing language, so that's that's helpful. Uh, okay, Tom, back to section. Yes, uh, uh, Eric. Eric still here somewhere? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, top of page 12, just a little explanation on uh, lines one through three again. That's just something that you've already you already passed uh, yeah. a couple years ago uh, or one year ago, I should say. Uh, um, it's just being reenacted so that uh, the, the new the law that you want to have in place is that those roadside tests um, that were roadside tests won't be, the blood tests won't be conducted roadside and uh, they have to be conducted by persons other than law enforcement officers. And that's just, the, all those sections are just going back into effect um, and being amended sort of retrospectively because of this mistake that happened with the T-bill in Act 164. Okay, and, and I'm assuming we had this, a sunset on those? Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not advocating for it today, but uh, maybe if we have a few minutes next week at some point, I don't, I don't think we, I, I know in past years, 
uh, you know, we've gone through an explanation of, of sunsets and, and, you know, and what, what they're all about basically. And, uh, you, you know, that they do come up, uh, you know, uh, kind of like once a year, there's a bunch of them and uh, maybe we could do that next week at some point, unless we've already done it. And, and I, I didn't remember it, but um, you've always done a great explanation on, you know, on things like that. So. Sure. And thank you for your explanation. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay. Any other questions on this? I will um, remind folks that as we've been going along, we've been doing straw polls on different sections to put those sections in this bill. So that we a number of separate straw polls, but we have not voted on or, or even done a straw poll on the bill in its entirety. So, questions? Let's, uh... okay. right. So again, this has been um, on notice for a, um, a vote. So I would entertain a, uh, a motion. To... Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, accept draft number 1.1 of S97 dated 5-13-21 at 420. I'll second. <laughs> Sounds good. Ken, do you have your, your record sheet ready? Yeah, I'm just trying to get, well, I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm making do. Yes, I'm all set. You ready? If you are, yes, thank you. Clerk, thank you. To call the roll. Chrissy? Yes. Colburn? Yes. Donnelly? Yes. Me? Yes. Lalonde? Yes. Leffler? Yes. Norris? Yes. Not. Yes. Rachelson. Yes. Burdick. Yes. Madam Chair. Yes. Thank you. You ready for S7 now? Not quite. You, you get a few more minutes. <laughs> okay. I Thank won't you. be here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. So in terms of report, Reporting, um, because there are so many different sections in here, I, I imagine, Coach, you might want to do the, the RDAP or the 317 sections, I'm not sure, or, or perhaps somebody else. But um, is, there, is there anybody that's interested in, in uh, reporting any of, any of these? If not, or if people don't know yet, I can, I can do it or I can put it under my name just so we could get it going because it has to go to the clerk and got to do all of that clerk of the house i'd be happy to do the 317 um okay um just that section is that what you're saying or or the yes. yeah okay that, that section okay but we need a um a reporter for the i just want to give people the opportunity if not it's fine so, so can I just suggest to coach that he do the three sections that involve RDAP? Coach, are you okay with that? Because there are three sections, one to get rid of the sunset, one to add the director and the other two positions, and then this third? Sure, sure. It just may make, make sense to do it that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let me put, I'll put my name down for now, and then we can folks to think about if there's if there's something of interest in in here that people want to um want to report on so i, I was gonna say i can i do roadside as long as uh saliva doesn't come up on the floor <laughs> okay. okay all right well that's good i mean all the all the sunset repeals should should be fairly easy right i mean it's stuff with I'll do a, I'll do the sunset repeals. <laughs> Chances of less questions on those. <laughs> right, right. Okay. I don't so, count it. 
right yeah. other right. than uh section 12 which i think barbara just volunteered for or 11 12 right Is, is that section 12, Barbara, that you're, you're talking I about? Think, I think it is. I have to open it. Was that uh, had to do with the question I just brought up? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, though. I, I may have misspoke. That's not a sunset. That's That shouldn't be in the sunset category. That's just all connected to sections 10, 11, and 12. Because um, of the trans. Yeah. Right, right. OK. The sunsets are all the first four sections of the bill. First four sections. Correct. Gotcha. Yep. Better yet, there's less of them. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll do the first four sections and the sunsets. Okay. Great. So, I'm trying to think. All right. I'll still put myself down, and then uh, and then we can figure out the rest of them. And but that way, so. So Eric, I just send a, I just said 1.1. I don't need any. No, this needs to, this still needs to be proved. So I'm going to send it to the editors right now. But so uh, I don't know that it's going to be done in the next two hours, but there's a token session Monday. So you can send it over Monday morning. Okay. So just watch my, just watch my email or. I'll send it to you and Evan. Yeah. Once, it, once it's edited. Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. I also and have a Eric, summary. For, so I can send a summary to folks who are going to be the reporters. So far, I've heard Tom, Barbara, Coach, and Maxine, right? Yes. Correct. Anybody else? Ken's not in his uh, room right now. Let's assign a couple things to him while he's... <laughs> Let's give him the whole thing. And we're going to give him S7. Exactly. <laughs> uh, he's back. <laughs> um... Yeah. So actually, Eric, you could you could send it to the you know the whole committee, and that way we'll all have it and the, the summary. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Eric. You bet. Okay. Thank Make you, everybody. Me look good like you usually do. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um. Okay. So, Brian, I'm gonna I have an email from you, so I'm gonna ask you if you could join us and. Talk to us. Thank sure you. <clears throat> so committee, as I was walking you through S7 this latest time, I realized that one section of the bill you really don't need anymore, which is the section three that has to do with the effect of sealing, where you require the court to notify a petitioner that um, has sealed a record that they may have the option to expunge that sealed record um, because you're no longer instituting that policy. And under current law, um, there is no eligibility for expungement of sealed records. Um, so that was all sort of established as a part of the recommendations from the Sentencing Commission. But since you're not taking that route anymore, you really don't need that section anymore. So you've got one fewer section um, to your amendment. And I've uh, redrafted it as draft 4.0. Um, so the only change there is that section three effective sealing has been removed. Is that clear? I think so, but the uh, folks. Yeah, and the the, uh, the new section is posted already, or the new uh, draft. So. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good catch, Bryn. Appreciate it. Sure. Uh, okay. Is is three point the new draft, or that was what we looked at before? Four point oh. Four point oh. Oh, it's just not coming up yet for me. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I, I still have not received a letter. Um, again, I can, I can read the email again from attorney Johnson. Um, I did discuss the conversation I had. 
Uh, but again, uh, it's clear that there are no objections to, um, to it was draft 3.0. I'm sure that 4.0 would be the, the same since we're not not adding anything or deleting something. So I so um, think the position would still be no objections. So I would like to, uh, I would entertain a motion on uh, draft 4.0 4 of S7 to approve. I'll make a motion on uh, draft 4.0 S7 dated today at 228. Second. Second. Thank you. Hmm. Any discussion? Selena. Um, you know, I would just say I I I wish we could have um been in a place where we're working with something closer to what the Senate sent us, but um, appreciate that this is responsive to concerns and still gives us the opportunity and the time to come back and take that more comprehensive look next year. I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, add, I'll just add again that um, I don't know how long it's been or in my time, in my three years, if there's been a bill, there's been so much give and take and so much worked on as this, there probably has been, but um, I want to add that this is probably a, uh, just a, I probably said this before, but this is a true working of people trying to work together from different sides of the aisle. Thank you, appreciate that. Did I just give away my vote? I, th I think you're set when you second. I think that was a pretty good. Could be. I that, that, was, got, that was a spoiler. Could be. <laughs> I just got somebody out here that's costing me a lot of money that's been waiting for me for an hour and I got to go. Uh, Barbara. So I will be voting yes on this and um, I share um, <clears throat> the sentiments that Representative Coburn uh, said and think that um, this bill is not something that was rushed. Um, in fact, it had little hiatuses in between which gave us time to sort of think about it um, on several occasions. And um, we're not the first state to do this. It became very modest. And I hope justice oversight will um, be able to give it that underlying um, philosophical underpinnings so that we can continue this work moving forward and give people who have paid their dues and are not problems um, a fresh start. Thank you. And Tom, before I call on you, I just got um, got the letter from the um, governor's office that Evan will um, email to you. I, I have not read it yet, uh, but just to let folks know. Go ahead, Tom. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Selena hit it hit it on the head, you know, for me also. And um, you know, I I mean, I'm not a fan of expunging everything, obviously. Um, but I do think it, it is important for uh, uh, a lot of people. And, you know, I mean, we experienced it firsthand a number of years ago um, uh, around our friend Tony Longines, um, you know, what it can do for somebody, somebody who committed a felony breaking into camps with his buddies at 17 years old and, and lived his life uh, looking at him and I think the words he used to describe himself was dirt bag. Um, you know, he looked at himself as a dirt bag his whole life because he was a felon. And, and I'll never forget at 50 plus years old, he sat in a witness chair and cried um, because he had that, that burden lifted off him and, and got to go through, you know, do his uh, 
Um, one thing he wanted to do his whole life was because he worked in uh, Alaska in the summers uh, was to be able to drive to Alaska. Um, you know, and after uh, many, many, many years, he finally got to do that and came back in and, and shared with us uh, what expungement can do. Um, you know what what it did for him, and and uh, and I can see, uh, you know, in uh, in a lot of instances, what it would do for a lot of people. Thank you. Any other discussion? Okay, and clerk shall commence to call the roll. Christy. Yes. Colburn. Yes. Donnelly. Yes. Goslant. Yes. Lalonde. Yes. Luffler. Yes. Norris. Norris. He might have stepped away. I think he had to step away for a few minutes. Not. Yes. Rachelson. Yes. Burdick. Yes. Madam Chair. Yes. Okay. Um, why don't we just wait a few minutes to see if, if Bob does come, come back on. Uh, so anybody interested in reporting this, this also will go to appropriations. The letter just showed up. Yes, I mentioned that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Any takers? I'm happy to report it unless if somebody else wants to, I'm also happy to, to, to pass it along. Yeah. Sure. Why don't we put you down for now? If there are any 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 changes, but that's that's great. Thank you. So it keeps with your your uh, legacy of <laughs> expungement. So great. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, we're keeping the vote open for a few minutes. The only thing we were going to do today. Uh, was think about writing a letter to the judiciary. I think that I'll turn to you, Martin. I, you know, I think that can wait because it's not, it's not something that has to get out to be voted by the other body or anything. It was just a consideration that we were going to talk to the committee about um, asking the judiciary to, to consider uh, six person juries and doing that by, by rule, which seemed given the testimony seemed to it's in my mind, the, the most appropriate way to, to, to go about it. Um, That's by rule with the authority they already have, right? Yeah. Right, right. Temporarily. Beyond, beyond um, the pandemic. Yeah. Beyond the pandemic? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it, it's as much, it's, it's under whatever inherent authority they may have, and, and they may feel <clears throat> that it could be going beyond the pandemic to uh, take care of the backlog. Uh, I mean, th th there's a certain inherent emergency authority. I don't think it can just go on if there's no real emergency, no real reason to do so is my understanding. And, and I guess the one thing I would just ask the committee is if, and this also depends on Eric's availability, if I can work with Eric on Monday uh, to get a draft letter for the committee to consider uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday, if, if, if folks are okay with me doing that. And if yep. Eric is available to help me. And, Much appreciated. And Martin, we'll make clear in the letter that it's related to pandemic That's the and end. beyond. I mean, I just don't, uh, yeah. Like I'm not sure they have the authority to just change it permanently. And I don't want them to right, right. think we're doing that. Right, no, I, th I think okay. that is, that's what I've understood from Eric all along. Okay. Uh, from his position, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so then why don't we, we'll, we'll do that next week and uh, and I think we can, 
Uh, adjourn soon. I'm not sure if Bob has gone for the day or not. If, if anybody's been uh, in touch with him. I haven't been, but he's he's still he's still online. So we could all I, yell loudly and see. I'll send him a text. <laughs> well, we're waiting. Okay, for, I was just going to. While we're waiting for Bob, can uh, is Eric available? I I had a question for Eric. I don't know if you're there behind your screen, Eric, or not. Possible. Yeah. There. So. Is it okay for me to send the latest draft to Trevor Squirrel saying that we have voted out S97 in the language that you all are looking for is on page whatever? Is there any problem with me doing that as long as I know? No, that's it, totally it's fine. Not, it's not gone to editors yet. Or I mean, it's in editing, but okay. And that we anticipated actually getting onto the notice calendar on, well, it wouldn't be until Tuesday but sometime Monday, right? Right, at least there'll be a approved final version on uh, Monday morning. And, uh, um, but I don't, I don't, you know, usually any changes are purely technical, so. So I guess uh, the question, are we able to hand that in today for to get onto the cal notice calendar for Monday, which is a token session? See, there's a token session on Monday, but I don't know if we wanna then substitute it with another one, right? We, we wanna just wait until we have the edited version. Is that correct? My only thought is it's three o'clock and it's a lengthy bill. So- yeah, well, I understand that's I not gonna get done today. It's, it's it, we, would, we would be passing it in Monday, presumably. Yes, yeah, so I already sent it to them. To- I already sent it to the editors. No, no, I meant to the clerks uh, for the report of the bill to send it to the clerks. Oh, right, right. We shouldn't be sending it today because it's not edited. It's, I'm just trying to confirm that. Yeah, no, that's right. But you could send the section to Trevor if you wanted okay. House Appropriations to get an idea of what's in there. Okay. I hope I didn't muddy the water, but I was trying to give buy, buy some time for Bob. <laughs> so no, that's the, perfectly fine. So it would hit the floor second reading on Tuesday then with the token session? Yes. Okay. It would be on notice on Tuesday, but it would be officially sent to appropriations from the notice calendar on Tuesday and then hopefully back on notice on Wednesday and hopefully uh, in a situation where our rules can be suspended, hopefully there's not gonna be any controversy of, in appropriations either. Oh, okay. So it'll hit the floor, but just go to appropriations. We won't be reporting it. Right. And, and again, okay. it, will, it will be on notice because it, will, it has to be passed into the clerk's office after it's gone through editing, which won't happen until Monday. Yeah. So it will get on the Tuesday notice calendar. From there, it will be uh, referred to the appropriations committee. Hopefully, the appropriations committee will be in a position to turn it around right away. Uh, we're trying to grease the skids for that so that it can get back on the notice calendar by Wednesday. Yep. End of session of uh, calendar math. Yeah. <laughs> we can even manipulate calendars if we want to, I heard. <laughs> As we, we can do anything. We just vote on it. <laughs> yeah, if you, guys, if you guys agree, that's, that's, that's true. But a day is a day. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Martin. <laughs> I thought you were going to maybe do your little daylight savings bill, slip that one in. Hey, let's sneak it in there. Oh, that miscellaneous. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and then, um, yeah, and S7 also will go to, to appropriations, but hopefully that'll be pretty quick because it's just the um, Judicial Bureau and JFO is already is already on that, which is which is good. So I'm and I'm just writing to Bryn right now to understand if that too needs to go through a final editing pass or not before I turn it in. Cause I would turn it in, it would go on notice, it would get off notice to appropriations and then although they would probably really look at it on Monday, right? So that one has been edited. Um, the oh, um, I didn't. I thought you were gone. I'm so oh, sorry. I was just sorry. You Here I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard my name. Um, <laughs> that that one should be good to go. Okay. So and I'll just I can just download right from the website the 
um, the 4.0 version and send that right along. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, Bryn. Uh, okay. Still haven't heard back from from Bob. Um, I have not done a a schedule for next week yet. I'm still waiting to hear about floor times. Uh, I, Tuesday, we're always on the floor at 10 anyway, but my understanding is that we may be on the floor at 10 and then two or three. That was what I heard. It wasn't sure which, which it was going to be back in. I'm seeing not. So on the floor at 10 and then again at two I or heard, three. I heard that like earlier in the week from the speaker, but I haven't gotten any confirmation since then. So you're probably more in the know or Martin. Yeah, I think it's yeah ten and around two thirty. I don't think it's been absolutely finalized, but it's along those lines. Yeah. Okay. So you know, I, I had sent Bob a text also, and he didn't get back to me. So, um, I mean, if we can live with a ten zero one, that's fine. And then we can go off, go off the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> so okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so in, ter in terms of committee next week, uh, we do have H-183 that we're looking for from the Senate. Um, the I think the only other, well, they have a few bills, um, but in terms of, I, my understanding is that's the only um, bill that they've taken action on and that anything else I do not think they'll be taking action on, but things could change. So, uh, so our committee time will will certainly be much less than it than it has been, but but stay tuned. And uh, with that, still nothing from Bob, which is fine.